Hi everyone, welcome to the wall cut stencil tutorial. I'm Allie and I am one of the ambassadors for wall cuts. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to layer the hot air balloons. I'll move the camera down so you can get a better view. I've already painted my board, kind of a sky blue color, and I've actually put a little bit of wisps of clouds on there. I've also cut the balloon sections so I can match them up. It will come on two large Mylar sheets. It's best to cut them all out and then match them up, and I've actually labeled them. We'll start with the first sheet, place it where I would like it. I'm gonna tape it down so I don't have any movement. I've chosen a few colors that hopefully will look nice on this balloon. I have my stencil brush. I will be offloading. Move some of my supplies out of the way. These balloons come in two large Mylar sheets. I don't know if I said that already. But they do come in two large Mylar sheets and then I cut them off in sections to match them up. I may have mentioned that already. So I'm going to dip my brush in the color that I would like, which is the pink. And these are Dixie Belle paints. And I'm offloading. And I'm starting with the first balloon as I set it down and I taped it down. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of swirling motion to get that first coat on. best to do a little bit of offloading so you don't get any bleed and usually this will take a couple of coats it's not going to be done in the very first coat of course if you want that shaded that light shaded look that works too kind of just your preference on what you like I use some little cardboard sheets, little cardboard cardstock papers. So I do not go into the next section, which was the basket of the balloon. I'm gonna do this outer one also pink. So we have a little bit of evenness either side, a balance. mustard yellow, kind of a mustardy yellow. And any color that you like will work. You can do each section of the balloon a different color if you'd like. A lot of offloading. It's okay to choose any color you like. It's just a preference.
a different color. Let's try a blue. Again, I'm using a brand new stencil brush. I try to get the width of the stencil brush the same width as the space that I am stenciling inside of. With the yellow one, I kind of just didn't do that, but that's okay. It worked out anyway. This is a pretty blue. now that the yellow has dried a little bit and make that a little bit darker. Very lightly. The more layers you put on, the more solid it will look. Today is a demonstration on just how to apply with the, with the layering. Okay, the yellow needs to be darker, but for right now we're just going to start on the next layer. I am going to lift up this stencil. And you can see how that works. And this is the second stencil. And I'm gonna line it up the best that I can. I'm going to look at the spacing between each balloon stripe. That looks about right. Just a matter of getting those spacing close to what it should be. I think that's pretty close. I'm using the nice bright color so everyone can really see it. You can also do the lighter colors, but I wasn't sure if that would show up as well. So the trick is to cut all the pieces, the sections out of the large miler that comes the way it's delivered, then match them up. Okay, that needs to dry so I can continue. I really like that blue, so I think I'm just gonna continue with that blue. not do the basket I'm gonna go ahead and go back and do the basket so I'm just gonna line it up with the original I can actually go back and um, darken up those stripes that I did I think that's pretty close and for the basket I'm just gonna use black these other guys around. I could have done it blue as well, but for me, black anchors everything. So I do try to use black somewhere in when I use a lot of different colors. 
this bottle is almost empty. So this is all going to be, well, I know the basket's going to be black, so I don't know. Maybe that could be a different color. Let's make that decision when we get to it. Let's do the basket since that's what I said I was going to do. We'll get a clean paper towel. Offload, especially those sides. And we're just gonna fill in those that little basket. And let's do that part of the balloon in a different color just because. So let's make it that other blue color. So I load my brush up. Offload it, make sure it doesn't go through. So I've got two sections here, so I'm gonna have to get another piece of cardstock, cover that up. This way I'm not limited and I'm not trying to be super careful with the, with the stripes. Usually I have my little razor utility and I don't have it today. Okay, and we're going to lift that up and see how that looks. And there you have it. You've got your little hot air balloon with the two layers. I actually thought I was going to have to use these to cover up some of the stripes, but I didn't need to. Let me turn that around so you can take a look. There are four balloons on these Mylar sheets. Two of them are layered and two of them are not. It has One of them comes with a little banner, which is easily put on. It also comes with the little clouds that you can add to your design. And that is the layering for today. Hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for joining this tutorial. Bye-bye.